Hello again, friends. I'm Michael Fudge. Welcome back to our series on the SQL Select Statement. This is the third video in our series. In this video, we will explore the case statement for creating columns based on multiple Boolean expressions. You're welcome to follow along with what I'm doing here uh, using the Learn Databases environment. If you follow the link there to AppliedDB.com, you can get details on how to set it up. Okay, let's get started. Once again, for this example, we will be using the TinyU database and specifically the students table. So let's take a look at the students table and get our motivation. So this is a list of students and their GPAs. And one of the things that you might need to do with this list is come up with a set of criteria based on their GPA. For example, students that make that their GPA is higher than 3.6. I'll just kind of write this down. So if if the G, when the GPA is when GPA is bigger than or equal to 3.6, we want to add them to the chancellor's list. When uh, the GPA is bigger than or equal to 3.2, we want to add them to the Dean's list. And when the GPA is lower than two, we want to add them to the academic warning list. And for everybody else, unfortunately, you're just not on a list, okay? What I want to do is make a column here and that column will say Dean's List, Chancellor's List, or Academic Warning List over here. I want to add a column to the output. And this is not easy to do with any of the things we've learned so far. Excuse me, let me sort of set this up. And let's just put down their names. Student GPA. And I want to add a column here. I'm just going to call it, you know, empty as student list. And if I run this, you'll see what I'm talking about. I want this list to say, like, this person would be on the chancellor's list. This student, unfortunately, is not on any list. This student is on the dean's list. And this student down here is on academic warning. So I want to be able to put those values in this column. And to, to do that, I use a structure called the, the case statement. And basically, the case statement will end up producing a single column. And uh, um, before I finish this out, let me just give you a little example. Let's say select case when, and then you have some Boolean expression like, oh, when one equals one, which we know is true, uh, then something. I don't know, let's just say yes, else, no, end. And so this says yes, and then if I change the expression, like two equals one, it'll say no instead. See that? So that's the basic idea behind the case statement. It produces a single column, and I can alias it if I want, as something. I can alias it if I need to. And I can have multiple case, uh, I can have multiple whens in here. So I don't have to stop at just one when. I can add, add a few. Okay. So let's try to write the case statement here. And I, I'm going to need a lot of space, so I'm going to actually move it down on another line here. Let's say case when the GPA is bigger than or equal to 3.6, then we want to say what? Chancellor's list? Oh, that's an interesting thing. What, how, what do I do about the fact that I want an apostrophe in there? Well, put two apostrophes in there. And then um, the, the two together, this one says end of string. No, there's still something more to do. So treat that as one apostrophe. Okay. And then I need an end. End. And I'm going to structure this a little better so it's easier for you to read. So there's one case. And let me run this. <laughs> So that you can see what we've got so far. So 
So Chancellor's List, null, null. Chancellor's List, Chancellor's List, Chancellor's List. Okay, now that doesn't look... Oh, it's 2.6. It was supposed to be 3.6, right? <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, see, you know. Let me get that going again. There we go. Chancellor's List, null, 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 null. Chancellor's List, null, 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 null. Chancellor's List, Chancellor's List. Okay, looks good. So let's add in the second case. So case when student... GPA is bigger than or equal to 3, 2, then Dean's list there we go, couple students on the Dean's list now let me take this and move it up it's kind of bothering me where it is let me put some comments in here. There we go. All right, let's add our last case. When student... By the way, you don't have to always test the same column. I could do something like when student first name like... Oh, I don't know. Let's If it begins with an L, right? Like... L percent, let's put them on, then let's add them to the name is L list. And run that. And you'll see that there's a name is L list. There's a name is L list. Now, what happens when they meet both of these conditions? Let's find someone that's either on one of these lists and their name begins with an L. Okay, so we got anybody here? Let's change it to M because I'm on the Chancellor's list. So let's put an M here and let's say name is M list. There, that, that'll get us thinking. And let's go to the bottom. And you'll see that I am on the Chancellor's list, not on the name is M list. Why am I not on the name is M list? Because the first condition that is true, that's the value that's put in the column. The rest of them get ignored. So they all don't get tested. They get tested in an order. So if I want this one to take precedence, I need it to be first in the case statement, like that. And then I'll be on the name is M list. There we go. Okay, just, just a point of clarification with the case statement that I'm not using in this example. Okay, let's finish it up. Um, when student GPA is less than two, then academic warning. And then I'm gonna add an else because I don't wanna see nulls there. I'm gonna say else, no list. Okay, so we have Chancellor's List, no list, no list, no list, Dean's List, Dean's List, no list, no list, academic warning, okay? So basically that's how the case statement works. And you can use the case statement in a, in a variety of ways. It's always sort of the same. This is a Boolean expression. It doesn't have to be a simple uh, relational operator. It could be a relational operator and logical operators. You could say when the GPA is bigger than 3.6 and student major ID is a one, then you could say business school chancellor's list. You could you can have all sorts of interesting logic here with the case statement, advanced logic with the case statement. What what is true is that what comes after the then needs to be um, an expression. Okay. So it could be a column too. For example, let's do another let's do another example that where I might show it as a column. So let's have a scenario where if your GPA is under two, I just I don't want to show it, okay? Because I, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. So if your if your GPA let's say if your GPA is under a 3.0, um, I don't want to show it because I I don't want to you know upset anyone. So I could do something like this. Let me take part of what I started so you don't have to watch me type most of it. And then I could say case when student GPA 
is under three, then let's show a bunch of X's. Else show student GPA. And then let's end that and call this masked GPA. And then let's not show the original GPA because we don't want that to be seen. And then this is going to be from students, right? Okay. Okay, let's give this a whirl. And we're going to get an error. And the error says, I can't convert varcar to numeric again because this type is varcar. And this type is numeric. And you can't have one column with two different types in it. You just can't do that. So I actually have to use my, my good friend cast here. Cast student GPA as varcar. I have to cast it. And then I, it shouldn't complain. Now, now I should get, okay, there's the GPA. And then these students, their GPA has been masked. It's a neat little trick. I, I think I want uppercase X's here. <clears throat> rather than lowercase x for emphasis. There you have it. So just giving you some ideas of things that you can do with the case statement. It's a very versatile statement. It can be used in a lot of different ways. Generally, what I use it for is to apply a series of conditions so that I can choose which value to put in columns in a, in a single column based on that condition.